Welcome. I will be demonstrating how to create this geometry within the ANSYS workbench. The version that I am using is the student version. It is the latest edition available, 2019R3. Let's begin. If you do not have the latest version of ANSYS, a link will be provided in the description box for where you can find the latest version. First, you want to go to your toolbox, expand where it says Component Systems, then Geometry. Click Geometry. New Design Modeler Geometry. Your screen should look like this. Let's begin. Go to units. Change your units to inches. In the tree outline, you want to go down to where it says modeling. And right next to it is sketching. Select Look at Face. We will be operating in the XY plane. Now, sketching toolboxes where it says Draw, go to Rectangle. And Create a rectangle. Next, sketching toolboxes. We want to make sure that our constraints are good, so we want to select symmetry. First, select an axis. Y axis. Let's begin with the Y axis. Select the Y axis. Then select an edge. Now select another edge. And you will see that the edges have become automatically symmetrical with the Y axis. Now right click to select the next axis. Now we're selecting the X axis, select the top edge and the bottom edge. Now our geometry is symmetrical. We're going to fit the geometry to our screen and select our dimensions. General is already selected. Our top edge here and one of our side edges. Now, if you notice, we have H1 and V2. H1 stands for horizontal, V2 stands for the vertical dimension. Now we can 
edit these to match our initial geometry, which is 7.07. .07. Press enter and sixteen point two five inches. We want to fit to our screen again. Go to tools, options. Sketching, Dimension Display, Value. Press OK. Now we want to draw again polyline. We'll start with one edge here. Left click, now right click, select open end. We want to go back to our toolbox, select Modify, Copy, select the edges here, one, two, three, and use Plain Origin as Handle. We're going to right click, flip horizontal, right click again, paste at plane origin, right click again, end. Now we want to make sure that our new geometry is symmetrical. So we select an axis first, first edge, second edge, they are symmetrical. Right click, new symmetry axis, the X axis now, one edge, second edge, Symmetrical. Now modify, then trim. We get rid of the lines that we don't need. Now we want to go back to our dimensions tab. Select general, it is already selected. Select this edge. Select this point here and this point here for the middle. Now we can edit these dimensions here. We will edit this dimension to point three eight zero. inches. Our next dimension is 0 0.628 inches. Next we want to modify and add our fillet. The radius will be 0 0.375 inches. Go to our geometry, select an edge, 
this edge, our fillet automatically appears. And do this all around our geometry. Next, we want to change our view. Then select Extrude. Our depth will be 120 inches. Select Apply and Generate. Fit to our screen. And there we have it.